Hello, so I was uh, randomly scrolling my Discover feed on Google and then I discovered this operating system. So this is a kind of uh, system that has been inspired heavily by Arch and today I thought of testing it out. So it tries to implement KDE, uh, the core components of KDE to make it a distribution which is mainly focused on Qt and KDE. So let's, uh, let's just dive in. When you boot up the ISO, the first thing that you're going to get is the screen. So obviously we are going to load and start car OS live. And this is inside a virtual environment because uh, my testing computer is still not up for running all the software for installing and running everything. Then we are greeted by this screen. Looks pretty nice, right? So finally, I did figure out how to change the resolution. So let us first go to the installer. They are using the Calmaris installer. So let's launch it. And I'm quite amazed by the amount of performance it's pr providing. Not the performance, just talking about the smoothness of the entire operating system. It is really cool. So let's click the next and you can choose your location easily and you can pinpoint the location here wherever you like so let us select Kolkata and for the keyboard you can go for uh, anything from here select a keyboard and click next and one of the one of the cool features that it provides is the choice for keeping or removing packages now you can enable and install LibreOffice and if you don't want to install an, any Office uh, suit, you can select no Office suit. You can always add one later or install later. So you can select this or this. Instead of the toggle buttons, these uh, should be having those uh, different circular buttons. I forgot the name. So instead of these toggle buttons, that should be there. It makes much more sense. And for a minimal uh, Plasma desktop, you can go for this one that will install uh, and remove all extra applications and decide which later you can decide which later you would like to install or add to the systems. Examples of what uh, wouldn't be there on such uh, on such an install install is that there would be no office suit, no media players, no image viewers, no printer support, just desktop, file, browser, package manager, text editor and simple web browser. That's all that's going to be there. So you can also go for the minimal installation. Here the advantage comes for Arch is that while installing you get a ton of packages that appear that you can keep, you can remove, you can choose whichever you like. So you can just mix and match according to your taste to create your very own uh, system, Linux system. That is the flexibility of Arch Linux installation. So let's click next. And you have uh, the typical options that all the uh, operating system uh, distros provide. That is, uh, to keep keep the files, uh, to go for manually manually partitioning everything, or you can also go for uh, erasing the entire des uh, disk. So let us select this one and click next. And for the bootloader, you can go for the grub, or you can go for no bootloader. So in the grub, there will be an option that will appear. The list of the operating systems that are there. It will be very much important if you have a multi-boot system. And if you already have a bootloader, grub installed from a different Linux distro that you already use, you can go for the no bootloader option. Click next. And then you need to add your name. So add a name of your choice. Then go for a password very general setups that you need to do all here then for the root password reuse user password for root and go for next this is the summary that it shows you and then if you click install it will go and install i'm not going to install it here because my disk space is very low here and i don't have my testing machine up and running so i have to test this inside a vmware and talking about uh, the applications that are there inside, let us open this one, which is basically the greeting application that comes with CarOS. And there they are talking about 
what is KOS? The idea behind KOS is to create a very tightly integrated and transparent distribution for a modern desktop, built from scratch with a very specific focus on KDE Plasma. And KDE has been my favorite desktop environment for a long time. KDE just provides you a lot of options for personalization, whereas GNOME is more focused on the productive aspects. It provides you a variety of options that helps you customize. That is the basic fun of using KDE, that you can change every little thing inside KDE and easily change and customize everything according to your need. So you can change the widget style from here. You can go and open Plasma theme, window decorations, mouse behavior, icon set, icon set, virtual desktops, screen settings, colors, font settings, etc. So let's open widget settings. And this is widget settings. I've shown you a lot, a lot of time this one. And as you can see, it's using Kvantum. You can also go for Kvantum dark. Let us see what kind of theme it is using by default. So you can just type here and open the Kvantum manager. And it's using the Midna theme for the plasma theme. It's using the Midna plasma theme. And for the window decoration, it's using Breeze instead of Midna. So we can just switch to a different window decoration if we feel like. Whichever you feel like, you select this one, go for the dark theme. And for the plasma theme, you can also go for something dark, such as the Midna dark. So you can easily tweak before you start using the system. And after you are done, make sure to cancel this option, switch off that option, so that it does not show up every time you boot. So these are some of the things that you can change while after, uh, just after booting up easily from here while these options are also available from the settings page basically kde right you know it you know the drill so you can go to appearance and select any theme from here you can go choose from here and yeah that's pretty much it now for packages in the packages group you can choose any one group to see the various packages each group contain multiple selections per group are possible once done you can go and click the install button that is really cool you can go for adding firefox your favorite web browser you can go for adding opera or chrome whichever you feel like for music players you can go and add music player of your choice you can select the email clients that you like for example, the K-mail is one of them. You can go for the image manipulation, Krita, you have GIMP, and uh, there are video editors, there's KDN Live, there's OpenShot, Lightworks, several of them. And finally, Office applications. Now, you don't get a uh, library office here because it was provided just while installing, right? And you cancel the option. If you installed, you installed it from there, or if you cancelled, then you get to install it. You need to install it by going to the official website or from the store that they have. So let's go to the wallpaper. Okay, you can go and install the selected packages. Well, these are the things that are going to be installed if you install. So for the time being, I'm not going to install anything because uh, I might run out of space and during that time, I will not be able to show you everything here. So you can add wallpapers from here and they are basically from Unsplash. One of them is from Oppo. The first one that we saw was from Oppo. So you can select any wallpaper of your choice and click on download in order to download it. The startup application is really cool. It does provide a lot of features. It is not simple, just like what we have seen on Deepin. Uh, while it is not very much complex, provides you a graphical user interface just to go, go on with the things. There we go, send it, change it. And here you have the documentation. You, you can select and learn more about them. And in the advanced part, you can go for there is firewall, energy savings, user additions, network management, KD wallet, 
and several more and in the about portion you can see what um, is Kaowa is about in news the it basically talks about the latest release of Kaos, which is using KDE Plasma 5.25 and it has also uh, using the Calmaris installer and there is an option to view a slideshow with information about distribution it talks about all the new things and the issues that are there with this coming with this operating system that's all let us dive in further so now let us see some of the applications that they have provided with the live distro itself so basically you can see all the kde application kde based qt applications there is arc there is uh, dolphin and the file manager so also there are some other options let us see like let's see if there is uh, there is Octopi, which is a basically a type of uh, package manager. Uh, you can go and install anything from here if you want, if you like. Okay. So everything is synced. Let me just close this. Also, you can go for uh, the other applications that they have provided. Let's see in all applications, right, what they have there. Uh, for the browser, they are giving uh, Falcon which is okay there is falcon i think there is firefox also provided uh, no i don't find firefox i guess after the installation you will have firefox there if you uh, yeah that should be there and for the player i guess it is the mpv media player basically they have an array of kde based qt applications uh, provided with this yeah so talking about the theme that they have provided, there is a lot of inconsistencies provided with the theme. Like they would have done some lower level work in order to, let me just open the system settings. We will see the system monitor later. Let's talk about the theme first. They could have done some more work uh, in order to make things more consistent. Like Midna is their light theme so if i switch to the dark theme from uh, home if i switch to the dark theme and click on apply the entire theming changes starting from the icons to the buttons the colors everything changes to breeze dark and yes i do understand that is the default provided by kde but since you are using midna then I think that should be the one that it should change to. That is, if I change to the dark theme, it should be changing to Midna Dark. And even if I change to Midna Dark, uh, there is another problem. So if I click Apply, you see these parts, those are white. You need to basically go to uh, Plasma Style. No, you need to go to Application Style. From there, you need to select Kevantum Dark and click on apply in order to fix the problem which is okay after that everything looks a little more consistent and better uh, window decorations and all it gets selected to breeze I don't know why it should be Midna yeah and for the icon the icon remains the same which makes it almost invisible invisible so I do have mixed feelings not mixed I would say I don't like the theming experience that is uh, basically the major major fun of using kde right uh, yeah i know there is other things such as the awesome kde that is the kde connect yeah the kde connect and all which are already integrated with kde and those are the fun that we get but this theming experience should have been made better because i think kde has awesome possibilities in that side so that was a bit blurred out here. Okay. Uh, now let us, uh, I'm talking about the performance. It feels really smooth while using the system. I have used other Ubuntu. I have used GNOME inside to make in this to make uh, uh, videos. That is those customization videos that I make on my channel. Most of them uh, now I make inside this virtual machine. And they don't perform really well. 
and they they are extremely slow sometimes so i need to cut and edit much of the video parts in order to show you guys the end results but uh, for this one it is extremely smooth with kde so even snapping to the edges work very fine and fast it's extremely fluent okay now let's see uh, how it is performing so let's go and open system monitor okay this is running inside a virtual machine so it won't be right to see what is happening inside the system from here but well you can see how much of the virtual memory it is using virtual cpu is it is using and it does fluctuate a lot about the cpu so i don't know if i should be sharing this with you guys but yeah hello it's hey it's there so you can just check it out if you feel it was not provided and i every time do a geekbench uh, score of uh, this system uh, often uh, after installing a new operating system or running a new operating system whether it is live or installed whatever but it won't be a good idea to do uh, that here now since it provides plasma 5.27 it uh, basically comes with all those fun that is one of them the best thing that i like is from the colors you can select a color according to the current wallpaper so let me apply so it just picks one color from the applied wallpaper so let me just change the wallpaper right uh, so let's go to configure this desktop wallpaper let's go to this one which looks kind of kind of bluish and as you can see the color changes to blue so if i change to something else this one which must be yellow yeah it does that this should be gray yeah changes and there is a cool slight transition when it changes and it makes the entire system look far more con consistent these little bit of touches of colors that they provide uh, due to the wallpaper change it just makes the whole system looks much more consistent with the entire theme experience that is that is a credit that should go to kde and not to kaos but well it was worth a try so that's all for this video thank you so much for watching do like share and subscribe I'll catch you in the next one. Ooh, the shutdown experience is also weird.